Hey guys, it's Seth, and this is week two of our fit form and fabric series that we're doing. Uh, so today we're going to be talking a little bit about form. So the three things that we want to focus on today is going to be posture, balance, and cadence. Uh, kind of going into the first one a little bit, the posture, we want to make sure we're looking straight ahead. Uh, we're not wanting to, a lot of arm swing to where that's going to throw us off balance, and that actually uses about 25% of, of energy that you'll probably need later in your run. So we want to be as efficient as possible. Uh, the next thing is going to be balance. And what I mean by balance is we want to be about shoulder width apart, but at the same time, when you're running, you want that knee to be landing uh, right underneath you to where you're landing more with a bent knee. We don't want to overstride because that's going to cause us to have more vertical movement, and that's going to cause more impact. So you're probably thinking like, well, how do I get something, or how do I, in my run do I shorten my stride to where I can um, reduce the impact. So cadence is going to be uh, the last part that we kind of address. So cadence is probably the most crucial because a lot of times people are overstriding and that's causing a lot of the impact. So cadence is measured by your revolution per minute, meaning how many times your foot is going to hit the ground in a, in a minute. The perfect number to be at is going to be at 90 steps a minute for one foot. You can count 180 steps a minute. Uh, sometimes it's a little easier in your head to be able to count that. And another tool that you can uh, use as a metronome and you can go download this in the app store just like you would listen to it like in a music metronome there's also music that you can download that's 180 steps a minute and basically this is what's going to help shorten your stride to where you're landing more properly underneath yourself but help also with your running efficiency and we actually have a new uh, item that we just got in the store a couple months ago uh, and this is the all-new Torrin IQ. So you're thinking like, what is the Torrin IQ? So Ultra has made a smart shoe, basically. So a couple of things that they're gonna be able to do is this shoe can measure your landing zone. So when we're landing, we do not want to be landing on our heel. We, don't, we want to be landing flat, feet flat on the ground. We don't want to land on our toes. Um, so this measures in a red and blue. We want to be in the blue and you can kind of see where uh, the impact is on this. It's also going to measure your cadence. So we, it's going to be able to detect basically how fast your revolutions per minute are. So you, we want to be at that 180. As you can see, 178 is right there. So that's, that's awesome. And then the next thing is contact time. We want to make sure that our contact time is very little because the more time you're spending on one part of your foot means more impact. So the quick, think quick feet, whenever you're you know, practicing the cadence drills, doing a marching drill, it's almost to where another scenario would be running down the stairs. You know, you're thinking really quick feet right underneath you and it's something that's not gonna extend your stride. The last part's gonna be the impact rate. And that's kind of um, a measurement used with both of these. And the impact is just basically, we wanna keep that as low as possible as well. So this shoe, we have this for men and women, and it's a great tool for people that are beginning to run and want to be able to, to know what they're doing correct and folks that have been running for many years and may have had some injury issues. So we brought this guy in and it's for the ladies as well and it's been a great tool. So come check it out.